side is that the uh, animation thing is possibly the only division that if you make money, they reward you for it at the Academy Awards. Mm -hmm. Because making money gives you clout in that division because you're hiring a lot of people. If you make a lot of money, the people that vote know that they, there's going to be a sequel come, and we want that sequel to have an Oscar with uh, it on the first one. So mm -hmm. it's all got to do with money. Mm -hmm. Best documentary film feature, If a Tree Falls, Undefeated, Paradise Lost 3, Purgatory, Hell and Back Again, and Pino. Yeah. Now, of course, I haven't seen any of these. I know. Um, I understand, though, um, that, which is, uh, okay, they're, uh, they're basically, Marshall Curry uh, has a thing on eco-terrorism about how they have to, eco-terrorism is, you know, is a good thing. So but here's the problem. I know that Undefeated is a favorite, and Echo and the movie. Uh, Marshall Kerr is even handed. Look, um, what we'll, we'll should win it? So I think that's the hell and back. So, but they think. Oh, but um, if a tree, uh, probably if a tree falls, and I think that one. But they think that Undefeated has been winning big. Mm. But there's no. I mean, I have. Problem is, once again, you can have multiple winners. You know, one having to do with social issues, one having to do with non-social issues. So, mm -hmm. you had both of them. Um, well, this is another category we haven't really seen very many in. No. Which in fact, you, I don't think we've seen any of them. Not there, uh, because we didn't go to it because she doesn't like subtitles. Okay. Okay. Uh, I went to the artist. The artist is full of, of the, the, the title things that they put. What most people don't understand. I'll uh, read subtitles. No, we went to see a really nice little child through Spectre Chow or whatever her name is, Lau, and you hated that movie. The movie looked I didn't know that. I, I did like the movie. Actually, we did see a foreign film that didn't make it like it was supposed to, remember? That movie was winning massively mm -hmm. hot, but it didn't, you know, it, 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 it what didn't happened? get nominated. You know why? Why? It's a 3D movie that they were pushing it um, in front of the audience here in, in 2D, and I think it turned a lot oh, of people off. Oh, it probably off. turned a lot of it off because you, if you have 3D and you're looking at it in 2D, 2D, because you could see where the 3D effects were, and it was it was it well, really made see, it Well, see, part bad. of it is depends on how they did it because what happened is they didn't change the coloration for the 2D, so it made it look washed out. Yeah. If you did it in 2D and 3D, there's the well, the 2D goes into 3D makes it look darker, but if it was 3D goes into 2D, it's lighter. Yeah, we have but, huh? best foreign language film of separation from Iran. Footnote: Israel, Monsieur Lazar, Canada, In Darkness, Poland, Bullhead, Belgium. Okay, uh, let's see. The Iranian thing has won every bloody award they've got. It has won just a, which, won, which one was the Iranian one? A separation. separation. It's won the B BAFTA award. It's won all the. It's won all the foreign language films, and it also won the Golden Globe. So. And it won. No, and it won. I mean, it won the uh, the Cannes Film Festival. Remember, mm -hmm. the, the guy, the guy basically uh, wasn't allowed to leave Iran to pick up his thing because it's an anti-Iranian movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, art direction. Oh, this one. This one. We know who won the art director's thing again. Hugo, um, the artist, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two. War Horse and Midnight in Paris. And Hugo was expected to be the heavy favorite. Guess who who won it? The artist? Yep. Okay. The artist won it because of the fact that they had to make everything from black, black and white. white. Because that is one where Hugo was, I mean, Hugo was... Oh, Hugo should have taken that yeah. one. I mean, there was no doubt in my mind after seeing the artist and Hugo. I mean, God, I mean... Hugo. I know, just because the film's in black and white, but it's like, Hugo was magnificent. And so they it, said that only two times in the history of the Art Directors Guild have they ever went against um, the thing. So, so two so times. So maybe for best cinematography, although we'll probably still go to the other one. Yeah. The artist, the tree of life, Hugo, war horse, and the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah, but uh, there's, there's a long history of cinematography going against it. They, um, uh, for, which makes no sense because I was talking to people over on my side. I got 193 people are doing the voting. 170 of them, um, let's see, uh, 170 members of the academy. If, okay. Um, and that's actually not that many people. The artist won cinematography. Okay. But they said 27 times in the history of the of the organization, they have went against it twice in the last 13 years. And I think that it's possible that the Academy will go against the voters. 
So, and which is funny in that they'll give it to Hugo versus the artist. The artist one, I mean, I will guarantee you, Hugo is a far better video, far better film movie than the artist. Artist had problems because it was in black and white, but, uh, you know, we, we say, you know how you should film black and white? You turn the color off on it. Mm -hmm. Because they but shoot digital. But the cinematography right? for the... For Hugo, uh, Hugo. Magnificent. Okay, they shot 3D. If you want to see a movie shot in 3D, shot in 3D properly, you go Hugo, but you cannot do pan shots in 3D. Which is one of the reasons why we went to see that movie in the first place. Yeah, because we wanted, everybody said it was a, it is a magnificent movie. It's a god off a huge money loser, but it's a great movie to see. If you want to see a movie that is the probably the best photograph film you're ever going to see in your life, they say, well, you know, David Lean used to do, I know, but David Lean wasn't working in 3D, and he wasn't working in a space that didn't actually exist. He was outside. Mm -hmm. They created a train station in England to make a movie in. Okay, so who do you think is going to invest in autography? Uh, they, they, uh, they, it was awarded to artists, they're figuring that Hugo is going to get it. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Because they think... Well, it really is. They think that the Academy is going to, for the third time in the last decade or so, go against it. So. Okay, best costume design. I know. It's, uh, they basically, it <laughs> but, uh, we got the artist, Hugo, Jane Eyre. They'll get, I mean, generally they just throw the Oscars at the British period pieces. Yeah, uh, W.E. and Anonymous. But once again, it's artist and Hugo, and I already know from the, who won the... Who won, who won the, the last one? The, well, the, uh, the people two days ago gave it to the artist mm -hmm. because they're designing uh, black, they're designing, they designed costumes that would be photographed, that would basically be vibrant in black and white and not in color. Which is a different, they stayed it's away a different from thinking process. Yeah. Because if you're shooting at something, you don't want color. You want it black and white. So mm -hmm. they give you vibrant, uh, really vibrant bright, blacks. vibrant black and white. So they think it's a hit, they think it's, it's a landslide for the artist. So, uh, here's one. Last night, they gave this one last night. Best film editing. Yeah. For the artist, Hugo, The Descendants, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and Moneyball. Yeah. Uh, and here's the problem is, is that um, they basically stand with the people. The artist won last night. For but, film editing? Yeah, but they're not going to give him the Academy Award for... Okay, he's nominated for Best Director, Best Picture, Best Screenplay, Best Editing. But aren't they different groups that nominate him? I know, but they're not going to give um, him everything. They're not going to give him everything, so they're going to give it to um, Hugo. They know that that one goes to Hugo mm -hmm. because they not they got to you know they got to give something to Hugo. Well, and Hugo was magnificent. Yeah. Yeah. And so v visually was. Totally they said simply, be happy with the two other Oscars you got for Best Picture and Best Director. And don't worry about Best Screenplay. Let, you know, let the guy from The Descendants have Best Screenplay because they throw him a ball. Remember, it's all about, in the Motion Picture Academy, is spreading the things out so the Best Pictures always have an Oscar to take home. Yeah. Uh, best Makeup, which only had three categories. This one was real simple. The Iron Lady, Albert Knobs, Harry Potter, and the Deathly Hallows. Yeah, so guess which one they're throwing a bone to. Albert Knobs? No. What? they got to let Harry Potter Harry have Potter? Something. Well, you know, that's kind of cool because, you know, once in a while it's nice that big commercial movies. Yeah. Uh, something. But in 30 years, it's always been the best picture uh, nominee or uh, always been the best picture winner. So. The thing is, is that... Um, and they usually give it to these big blockbuster ones where they, they think it's the last in the series, yeah, but right? See, like The Lord of the Rings or There something. is... Well, actually, is Harry Potter one of the nom No, Harry Potter wasn't a nominee. But they, they give it to Harry Potter because Harry Potter basically is under underappreciated technical movie. Well, it is. And That's it, what happens when you have a large commercial movie. So they have preferred uh, they preferred elsewhere, but they had they only had three this time because only three managed to make it. Which I do not see. I don't see how you, you three tell me can how the it. Pirates of the Caribbean didn't get in for best makeup and those things. And how about a couple of big sci-fi epics? So we've got now best original score. The artist Hugo Warhorse, Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy, and the Adventures of Tintin. I know, and here's the, um... Two of them are by John Williams. I know, they, they threw out John Williams because... he's got two, two of them. And because nobody liked Tintin. Oh. 
and no one really liked the war horse. So, so a guess is now down between the artist and Hugo, and guess who is going? Who who won the award from who? the uh, composers? Who? The artist. Because it's all music. The whole bloody movie is a music. They, the so they music just figured is, they'd give it to yeah, them. When, when the music starts at the beginning of the reel and ends at the last of the reel, it's, it's in like an hour and 45 minutes it's of a long music. Time. So it's a, it's, now this one's surprising because what? There's only two of them, which is yeah. the best original song. And, and I love this one, which, you know, they, they're, they're, they're discount. Oh, I love this one. We discount Man or Muppet because of who wants to give a damn... Oscar for doing do the Muppets. Well, they've won. They're, they tend to win in the best music category, like a rain, a Rainbow Bridge and a few of those things. And you know, I've seen. They said Real and Rio. Uh, it Real and Rio is the one that they're favoring. But the people can hum Man or Muppet. Yeah. The, and they did open up the song with Man or Muppet too. I mean, the, the movie. Yeah, it's Man or Muppet. It's Man one thing you'll Muppet. know after you watch Man the movie. Man or Muppet is a catchy piece of music like the Disney people always do with those type of things. Where they, nobody knows what the hell the lyrics are to Rio. They said Rio is... I don't that, even know which one that is. A, a movie basically, um, you know, I think it's from Rango. You know, so, uh, okay, we can go back up the line. You might, I know you just did, oh, you, she played with my computer. I touched this computer and then things moved. It's like, I thought we were further down the line. Because, you know, you know how computers are. You press a button and then it kind of moves. No, we've got, um. Man or Muppet. Best sound mixing. I know, i got to go back up. This is the best original song. There I we like, go. we like Man or Muppet. Because contrary to the odds, the guy that wrote the final odds, he doesn't know the Muppets have went consistently for best song. <laughs> so we have best sound editing. Okay, Hugo, Warhorse, Transformers, Dark of the Moon. That's kind of surprising. Um, for sound editing, the girl with the dragon tattoo and Drive. Yeah, basically we know what it's going to be. It's Hugo. <laughs> because we, we, we've actually seen Drive. We have seen the Transformers. We know we know that the best sound is in Hugo because the best everything technical was in Hugo. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a it is a technological masterpiece. It probably will kill Martin Scorsese's career because it's got to lose a hundred and forty million dollars. The industry wouldn't even go see the thing, which is bad. We went to see the movie, and fifty percent of the people in the movie walked out at it, on it after they found out it wasn't a children's fantasy. I know. It's not. It's about the it's about the career of George Melies and the rediscovery of Melies and his films. <laughs> so beautifully done. But rule of thumb from my era: if you're going to make a homage to someone you worship, use your money, not the studios, because they fire you and never use you again. Yeah. Best sound mixing. Yeah. This sounds like it should go with some of the other ones. Um, Hugo, War Horse, Moneyball, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Yeah. There's a reason why that one sounded familiar to the other one. Yeah, but Hugo, money, Hugo won again, folks. Mm -hmm. Hugo basically is in a sound stage. The whole gosh darn movie's in a sound stage. And it's everywhere. It's, it's here, it's there, it's up there. So you're talking about, you got a great big building, and you got to realize what the sound is like in a building. I mean, they must have had, you know, it's where you really, when you go to soundstage, when they mean quiet on the set, they mean quiet on the set because it bounces back and forth. Mm -hmm. Hugo is one again. Uh, best visual effects, I, I, I know. Hugo, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Now, this is the first time I've seen that movie listed in anything. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, Transformers Dark of the Moon, and Real Still for visual effects. Okay, it should have been... Uh, okay, we know that the Transformers and Harry Potter, are, we've actually seen Hugo, Harry Potter, and the Transformers. Real Steel never had a chance. Real Steel's not a great, should not have even been there. Because, it, you know, it's just a CG, it basically is a robot that's not in the same scene with them. Gently don't do green screen movies. Yeah. But uh, it, we thought for certain that, um, that Pirates would have been there because of the fact that it really is a special effects movie. So, but, um, uh, Hugo, again, Hugo. Hugo, it's Hugo. Hugo's going to sweep the uh, all of this. The visual work. and the cinema, those types of things. It it's, the art, it's the artist or Hugo. Yeah. yeah, it's either the artist or Hugo. Let's put it this way. If the artist isn't in the category, Hugo is given it by default. Mm -hmm. 
So, well, Hugo's got 11 nominations and they expect it to win five Oscars. Okay. How many does artists have? Uh, 10, and they expect it to win eight. That's so, uh, they expect the Hugo to win, um, they expect Hugo to win all of the technical stuff, the artist is going to win all of the acting and all of the other things that are non-technical. I did get a photo with um, John Dujardin. Oh, I know. He's with nice. the Golden Globes. But I also got with another guy with an Oscar, and I don't... Another Golden Well, actually, yeah, that was, but, okay. Oh, excuse me, another Golden okay. Globe. So Dujardin, basically, they've only had four French would ever nominate for an actor. He's one of them. Uh, four Oscars. And they said, Marie Chevalier twice, Gerard de Prudeau once, and him. Mm -hmm. they, there's never been an Oscar to a French actor. Mm -hmm. And because generally they make movies that are in French, this is a person, and the guy speaks great English. I mean, he can speak English better than I can. His name is John Garden, mm -hmm. for Christ's sake. Du Jordan, Jean Du Jordan means John of the Garden. Now this category, we have not seen any of them, and no, nor do most people. Unfortunately, we we had we uh, were going to the Oscar screenings, and because the, uh, the screenings are done in a god awful little room, there's not enough room to get everybody to watch digging it in because the people that never got it, you don't get a chance to see these things. I mean, yeah, they did. Have the, uh, they had the short screen. So the best animated shorts are A Morning Stroll, The Fantastic Flying Books of Mr. Morris, Less More, La Luna, Dimanche, oh. and Wild Life. <laughs>